Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm excited to show you an update that makes layering visuals without experiencing any layer order issues much, much easier. Now each visual now has a setting to maintain layer order, which means that once configured, you won't experience any layered visuals popping in front of one another when you select them. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So what I've created to demonstrate this effect is a lot of layered visuals in here. I just added a bunch of backgrounds on top of each other. I ordered them properly over in the selection pane here on the right. And what I want in effect is to not have these pop up in front of each other. To demonstrate in the desktop environment, the issue that you have probably experienced before if you've ever stacked visuals on top of each other is something like this. You click on the visual and then it ends up popping in front of it. Same thing with any of these ones in between is you essentially want to eliminate that issue. And there was a video I did a couple of months ago that showed you how to use grouping and subgroups to actually fix this. Now there's an even easier way to do that. So if I select any of the visuals over here on the right, if I click background as an example and go to general, objects in Power BI now all have a maintain layer order option in here. And I've actually turned that on for each single one of these. So they all have a maintain layer order turned on. Now I will mention one thing about this is you can't observe this effect until you publish it to the Power BI service. And it's a similar issue to configuring the visual header where any configurations won't actually show up until you publish it to the service. I do hope at some point they allow an ability to say test in desktop for this, but for now you'll have to observe the changes with layer ordering once you publish it to powerbi.com. And as far as the layer ordering for any of these visuals occurs, what you do need to have is that the maintain layer order needs to be set from the back forward. So everything in here that's behind something needs to have it turned on. It actually doesn't matter if I turn it on for the top visual, because even if I just turned it on for this first visual here, and then I did not turn it on for anything else, these would all still pop up in front of it. Mainly the maintain layer order being enabled only means that the visual that you've turned it on for won't pop up in front of anything else. It does not mean that the visuals that are set behind it or objects that are set behind it won't show up in front of it. So in this case, between all of these, the ones that I'm now highlighting, those are the ones where it's important to turn on the maintain layer ordering. This one doesn't matter because it's at the very top level. So you can actually also for simplicity's sake, so you don't have to do it one at a time, you can select all of them here and then come over to general and then turn that on and off. And I do have one other example of what this will look like when it's improperly configured. So let me show you this other tab and then we're going to hop into the Power BI service. So in this tab, the things that I have turned on is I've only turned on layer ordering for the very back one. All of the rest of them don't have it on. So let's go ahead now, go to the Power BI service after I've published it and see what the experience is like for the end user. So here it is now published. As you can see, the correct maintain layer ordering that I did where I applied it to all of the background elements here except for the image, I can click anywhere in here and none of them pop in front of or behind each other. So it maintains a perfect level of integrity as far as the ordering goes. And it maintains that layer order exactly as the name implies. Now let's go look at the improper configuration. Over here, I only turned it on for the background, the very, very last one, this largest one in the back. So I click that nothing happens. But if I click this one, that pops up. If I click any of these other ones, so you can see that that pop-up effect in front of each other does become an issue if it's not turned on. So as you can see, this is a very quick and easy addition for layering visuals that are stacked on top of each other in Power BI. And previously, this was much harder to be able to accomplish. I did, again, have a video recently that showed you how to do this with some subgroups as an option, but now it's much easier just to be able to toggle that in the general setting for any visual. And there's one last thing that I want to talk about to make sure that this works because it does not work within groups. So let's go ahead, hop back into Power BI one more time. The last thing I'll mention over here in the selection pane is that these all have to be in a group. If they are not in a group and they're just sitting in the selection pane, that maintain layer order doesn't work. So they do need to be in some sort of group in order to make this activated. But other than that, as you can see, very easy implementation and a feature that I'm really happy to do because I personally love to layer my visuals. So hopefully this can be something you can implement in a lot of your reports as well. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.